Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two more tips that I think are pretty useful. Uh, well, there's a bunch of different tips, but it's about two different things. And they're very useful, and it clears up some of the things that I talked about last time. In the last episode, I talked about how to level fast. And in today's episode, this video kind of goes right along with that, talking about two very important things. And if you're like me, and use shotguns a lot, this is going to be very helpful to you. Now, there are are two main points of discussion in this video it's how to get easy shotgun ammo and two how to get adhesive lots of adhesive uh, pretty easily and I should say Steve Sutton is the one he left a comment in the last video that made me remember this I, I talked about getting adhesive and where to go to get some you know some adhesive lying around different things that you can do to get adhesive even easier than what I mentioned and it has to do with anglers so first and foremost the end of the last video I left the golf club with 12 with 12 rounds of ammo and now I have 60 essentially and it was from one run through of one area and I'm gonna share that with you uh, but first and foremost if you didn't see the last episode definitely go back and watch it because it's extremely helpful I think to m anybody really if you want to level very quickly uh, you can go to the golf club and you can level here and you'll find tons and tons of enemies I've even even seen people putting up bases and having bases outside with turret, turret defenses and just mowing things down easily that way uh, I talked about going to uh, Big Ben Tunnel West and a couple other things, and so definitely go back and watch that. But I mentioned one thing that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna find an issue with if you use shotguns like me. Is you're gonna run out of ammo, or they're gonna break as well, and so you're gonna need materials to repair. And I discussed that in the last episode, and you don't want to go tinkering around because it can be very costly to make tons and tons of ammo, and so. Where is the location that you can get ammo for free very easily? Well, there's a place right here called Welch. It's a little city down here in this area. I'm not going to say the words because I can't say it right now because I just woke up and I'm afraid YouTube's going to ding me for saying that. Uh, but it's this area right here. It's it's a higher level area, so people just starting out might not be able to handle it. Uh, but there's Welch right here. It's a very good area, and you spawn in right here. And when you come up here, you're going to encounter tons of mole miners. And mole miners carry a lot of good materials, but primarily what I'm looking for is shotgun ammo. They carry shotgun ammo and lots of it, and so you can get tons of it from them. Sometimes this is a very this is a very common place for people to level and run through. So you might Oh really you saw me. Where? Alright, now this is more like it. Now there's more here. So that was kind of strange. Uh, I think somebody went definitely went through that area because this area is just crawling with them, generally. Some up here on top of the house, down here in the streets. There's ones in these houses over here. They are everywhere. And there's generally like a, like a higher level one here as well. And then just go through and clear them out. Get, you know, you do it however you like. And uh, you're, you should walk away with quite a bit of shotgun ammo. So this was shotgun ammo there. Get some pump, you know, and you can scrap all that and get the stuff from those. So it's definitely a place I recommend checking out if you are in need of shotgun ammo. And, uh, you know, you can also get lots of experience here. It's a very, I think it's a very valuable place to go to. And like I said, this whole area, not just this town. Uh, can be pretty beneficial and then as I said there's a vendor back here so if you need to make some caps and stuff you can just come back here to this guy he's up here on uh, in the back here and then like I said over there there's uh, usually some super mutants and death claw fighting so you can get some good stuff there and then just you know go through scrap all the stuff you get some good resources and materials from mole miners as well very valuable place in my opinion so another quick trick I was gonna show you I mentioned in the last episode uh, but if you have a pocketed piece of armor and you just rapidly equip and unequip it, your weight will go into the negative and then you can carry whatever you want. It's a super simple trick and it kind of helps with the stash limit right now. We found some people carrying like 10,000 pounds and like 6,000 pounds of things. Like I think Lewis has like 6,000 pounds on him currently. There's a Wendigo right here. I'm going to back away a little bit because that thing would mess me up. So, uh, okay. So, that is a really helpful trick currently that uh, to kind of solve the stash issue. 
the next thing we're going to talk about, if you guys don't know, is uh, the mire and anglers. Now, in on the map, uh, you will find different events that pop up. And I really, really highly uh, encourage you to click on each one and look and see what this says right here. Because some of the events, there are certain events that can spawn a lot of anglers. There are like horde events that come up. I, there are defensive events that happen. Just make sure to click on each one of the little markers and read what the description says and see if any of them say talk about anglers. Now, the main area that anglers spawn uh, are, is this area right here. This black area is called the mire. And I think notably... There's an area I've seen some people talk about the mire that's east of Abby's bunker, which I've actually never been this far, like into this area. Uh, I've only been down here, and down here I don't remember seeing a lot of anglers. I think there are a few, but people have talked about this area, so we're gonna go check that out right now and uh, see how see like how many anglers are actually there. It's worth noting too that in this area there could be mire lurks, super mutants, those freaking giant mosquitoes that everyone hates and the blood bugs uh, so this area is generally crawling with all kinds of stuff and it looks like this area up here is no different from the areas that I visited uh, down, down south a little bit and oh, what the heck dude <laughs> freaking hermit crap I've never seen I've never seen one of these things alright so you need to actually come down into the area where there is actual like Mire like it. Look at this thing. Glowing angler. Eight excess adhesive. Asbestos nuclear waste. Pretty good. And I'm certain there's probably going to be a lot more of them around here. So, yeah, what you need to do is you need to just come straight east of Abby's bunker. There's a place called Gnarled Shallows. And that will uh, be basically this area you can see. So, the difference between up here is kind of like you know a wooded area and then down here you can see like the actual mire area and that's where they're gonna be I should also say too that one way that you can have like an infinite adhesive farm is you can just farm and you can make your own farm uh, I I haven't done that I haven't actually done any farming in the game yet just because I only have a certain amount of time every single day that I can play and so I don't like I'm not gonna spend my time farming when I could do something else so, I think, guys, he, there's, here's the thing. I, uh, I spent a lot of time walking around, and I can only find two anglers in this area. And so, oh, there's another one. Okay, that was, I found two anglers. There was a, okay, there's a, a different kind, a venomous angler. So we found the glowing one, we found a venomous one, and a regular angler so far. They definitely hit hard. They set you on fire. But they're not too bad to deal with. Alright, so we got some asbestos, some adhesive from that one. And five from that one. This one's a higher one. Five from this one. Robot chest piece. So there's two more there. Let's see if we can find any other ones. Where is this beeping thing? Give me that code. You can just go you can just go on Reddit and get the code. You don't even need to uh collect them you can just get the codes from reddit and go launch some nukes so there were two that time there was three one time and uh one the first time and so i've just server hopped a few times and got a couple uh adhesive that way that's probably the easiest way that i mean this is a pretty easy method to get adhesive oh oh here's another one all right nice so there's three this time too just get me out of that already so I can just kill this thing I like this shotgun but I definitely need if I had the one Lewis had things would be so easy seven from that one so there were three that time so this area is definitely the place to come for uh, finding some anglers for sure you can just you know spam vats and see if you attach you know attached anything but yeah that's that's pretty easy all right, so there's one power substation that I think is the only one that can actually have anglers, and it's this one right here, the Thunder Mountain substation. 
could because I visited this one, these two up here, and it was scorched both times uh, that I, well, three times that I went to different servers. So I think that there are only certain ones that might have anglers, and this one might be the only one. Unless there's, I don't know if there's another one anywhere else, but um, this one seems, this is the one that I remember too, that, that Lewis and I visited. Uh, super mutants all over the place, and anglers were here. So there's golfers here right now, which I don't even know what golfers drop. Uh, but I'm going to try to reset the server after I kill these and see if I can get anglers to spawn here. And if so, then this is the one that can have anglers. All right, so third time's a charm. There was an angler here. Also, the glowing gulper. It heals itself. And uh, it's definitely not an enemy that I recommend fighting. I used all of my shotgun ammo killing that thing and it was not fun so this is the uh, one right here and we leveled up 308 7 ex adhesive so now I gotta go get more shotgun ammo I used all my shotgun ammo in this video it's quite crazy and I think that I think there are only two of them that's dead glitched out 8 adhesive on this one so there you go that's it's probably the easiest way, I think. These two. Um, these two locations. If you're interested in getting some easy adhesive. And I used all my caps too. Fast traveling around. But anyway, yeah. Uh, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And if you have any other better locations for farming an adhesive. Obviously, let me know in the comments below. Well, let other people know. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't... You can... It, it's what this is. This is to help people out. This video. So... Um, and then obviously be scanning for scan for events and stuff and you know see if you can find any I think it's usually up in here there's a where's the amusement park at wherever the amusement park is there's some anglers up in the uh, kind of the wasteland area too maybe it's this water park like up here or something like that there's usually some Oh, there was one I think it was with the messenger mission mission and that's another thing I should say messenger missions sometimes have anglers around them and so um check those out too anyway thanks guys hopefully you're having a great day things are going well definitely subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already see you guys in the next one